Yeah, I think you want to be proactive with it, right? It's great to have your information out there to be tweeting stuff or whatever the case is, but also start researching other schools, right? If there's schools that you're interested in, if there are schools that are coaches that you're wanting to kind of build a connection with, or maybe you've already developed a relationship, you know, go in and, and take a look at their stuff, like some of their stuff, follow them, um, you know, show that interest. Again, it's almost uh, like you're courting that coach, like it's, it's, it's dating and you're trying to flirt with them a little bit. So you need to, you know, show some interest. Don't just have your social media page and wait for people to find you because again, they're, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of kids that do that. They have their social media pages. They have stuff on there that they're trying to get recruited on. But again, college coaches aren't just going on to Twitter and typing in, you know, basketball highlight videos. They're not just going into YouTube and typing in football highlight videos. There's too many kids on there. There's too much to sift through. So you have to be proactive, whether it's, you know, you messaging a coach or whether you, again, replying to a tweet that a coach had or retweeting them again, it's almost, and I, I use that word, you laugh, Danny, but you're kind of flirting with that coach a little bit and trying to you know, show interest, but also get them to show a little bit of interest in you. Yeah, and that's really good. And I think, um, you know, that's a good approach to it, that you're trying to get to know them. They're trying to get to know you a little bit. But, you know, you should be following and liking their program and keeping track for those programs in which you're interested. Because when you do have a conversation with that coach, you will have had some insider information to what they're doing. And that makes you stand out. It shows that you've done your homework. Right, that you're truly following what they're doing, that their efforts to put that stuff out is appreciated and that you're engaging with some of that stuff. And who knows, maybe that coach follows you back. Maybe they like some of your stuff. They're seeing you on your end as well. So you know, there's kind of a, a meeting place in the middle. It's not just about you putting your stuff out there, coaches putting their stuff out to you. Interacting with that is really going to help you know, make that uh, really impactful through the recruiting process. So, And it shouldn't just be with the program or the head coach that you should follow. Follow their assistants, follow the strength and conditioning coach, some of the current athletes, right? Get a sense for what their day to day is like. Maybe some of the athletic trainers, right? So that's just giving you the complete picture. And you're going to start to get, you know, posts from that program about how they do their day to day. And maybe they'll post some workouts and maybe you do that workout and you tag them in it, right? Just say, hey, I'm following what you're doing. I appreciate the workout. I'm capable of doing that. And I'm someone that you should be paying attention to. So there's a lot of benefits there. And you really want to interact with that to not only showcase that you're the kind of kid that they want to be recruiting, but also that you like what they're about and that you're really paying attention to the program and, and looking at their social media stuff.